I would know <laughs> that's more what a male would do with her. <laughs> uh-huh. And I don't know which male. <laughs> I don't know which male. And if she's around other males, there's three suspects. Uncle, granddad, and dad. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> but unless she's comfortable because you're watching her and she trusts you with me. You understand? Right. See, um, there's something out the equation I don't know is going on. Mm -hmm. See, if I'm going over there to help her, I don't see the mom. I'm going to assume she's asleep. Right. I don't know nothing. I don't know nothing. I ain't going to go into the bedroom immediately. Right. Either I'm just going to start helping her like I would my sister if I saw her going to the bathroom the same way. Right. And the first thing, like I said, I would do is pull down her panties. Right. Now, I'm not pulling down her panties for any personal reason. Right. To see her naked or anything or get close to her crotch initially. Right. It's only if she doesn't go immediately into the bathroom right, that you got to wonder, well, why is she going immediately into the bathroom? <laughs> if she lingers in front of you two or more seconds... <laughs> or three or four, right? Even, right? After that, you gotta make sure whatever she's doing, she hadn't already peed herself because you're not aware of what time it is. It's just the middle of the night, right? And if she's gotta pee, all you have to do is pull down her panties and she go pee. <laughs> it's not rocket science. And that should take one second, boom. She goes straight to the bathroom. <laughs> right? I know. I know. <laughs> now, I'm not the one in the potty trader, so I don't know what's going on. Grandma did. Grandma did. Because, see, I don't know all the details, but sometime after Daphne had her, I don't know if her and Sal tried to work out a relationship for about a year. <laughs> but by a certain time, she's with Grandma. Right. And Grandma starts raising her from that point till I met her myself. In fact, by the way she did it, I felt like she only wanted her daughter more than she wanted me. And, uh, and rather than deal with my disability, she just kind of used all that to get rid of me. You know, kind of what it felt like. <laughs> You know, my perspective is always going to be different from hers so we're not raised the same in Arkansas versus Georgia, right? I don't know. <laughs> and that's what I mean, too, right? I'm not judging her to condemn her, right? I don't even know who it is, right? But I am saying, okay, <laughs> I know if something weird did happen, I wasn't any more prepared for it to happen that way than you were, you know? Or the child was, right? But if it did, it's kind of even weird to me if I made up an alternative version of the story, right? I still had to ask her who showed her that, like I told her, right? Mm -hmm. Now, the difference is if she's awake, she heard her say, Grandma, right? If she's asleep, she wouldn't have heard anything, and I woke her up and told her a story, right? See, I'm not refuting that original story I told her. I don't remember the original story I told her or this story. Right? That's why it's two, two, right? See, if you have amnesia of something, you're sleeping on the couch, you know if the child comes into you, that's the only way you can interact with her, right? That's not debunkable. You know? That's not something you can do about it. Right? And it's not criminal to interact with her to certain degrees. As long as you don't start jerking off to her or get on top of her or really try to have sex with her, right? You're doing things within the guidelines of a step parent, right? But see, if you're not asking me and I don't know the question, right? Or what you're really saying, I'm going to guess right and wrong myself, right? Until I figure out what you're talking about, which I still ain't figured out who it even is talking about it, right? See, they don't really want to be fully known, right? 
But you've seen my life on YouTube, kinda, right? Exactly, exactly. But you also see Shame on You Shame and his accounts. Who is he? Who is he? Hmm. Sal or someone on base? Sal or someone on base. All right. <laughs> someone he knows, right? Could be helping him, man. Because he's lying. He's spinning it his way. Because mm -hmm. see, some people don't understand the mentally ill and want to demonize us, right? But to demonize me would be the same as demonizing Paul mm, from the Bible. <laughs> I only heard voices, right? Like Paul did in his head. <laughs> so whatever's going on with me, you can't say it couldn't have been something religious as well. But if it's religious, by now people are anti-religion. Mm -hmm. Especially scientists and right, doctors and lawyers and <laughs> politicians and musicians, right? See, you don't understand the best things in life are free, mm -hmm. but you can keep them for the birds and bees. You want money. <laughs> you don't want things to be free. Well, we're guaranteed certain freedoms, and the first freedom is speech. Right. But then you want to create copyright law, which is against freedom of speech. See, you can't give someone freedom of speech and say they can say whatever they want to say one minute, and then if someone writes something in the book, say, well, you can't even quote them. Right. You can't say it the same way they said it. You got to say it differently. Well, how? Mm -hmm. uh, if someone's saying something correct, right, it's always correct. If someone's saying something wrong, it should always sound wrong. Right. Even if they started hearing voices around that 93, right? That don't mean they're totally batshit, but that means something's going on around them that made them hear the voices, right? If they didn't hear them beforehand. Right. See, that's what you got to prove. That I went around telling people around me I was hearing God. And then, nope, nope. Now, I did tell Pastor Thomas God told me, but it was about a dream. As to how God told me. <laughs> See, if you... Reading the Bible, and you dream you see a throne with a light shining from it. What does the Bible tell you about that? Heaven is its throne, and the earth is its footstool. Right. <laughs> now, it also talks about the two witnesses being the two olive trees and the two candlesticks standing before the God of the earth. Okay. Mm -hmm. But it left out heaven. And earth, and earth, right? Unless it was referring to Satan. <laughs> you see what I mean? Right. <laughs> Who Paul said was the God of this present day world, right? But not the God of the heaven and the earth, right? Okay, Matthew said all power is given unto Jesus in heaven and earth, right? Exactly. Now, if you're reading the Bible and you have that dream around the death of your dad, what do you think God is doing to you if you were to see the throne of God in heaven? Right. Well, the Bible talks about the spirit going back to God in heaven who gave it. So if my dad was brought before the throne of God in heaven after he died to be judged or not, maybe... I shared in that experience. Who knows? Who knows? What was going on? <laughs> Just the alternative explanation. Mm. <laughs> but I don't know if it's a normal dream or an abnormal one. Right? I don't know if a bunch of people have it or only I had it. Right? That's another reason. You try to talk about it to other people. Mm -hmm. But okay.